Well, if you're looking for something to do this weekend, you may want to set your alarm clock extra early on Sunday morning. That's because stargazers are preparing for a once in a thousand year event in the night sky with two spectacular events colliding. To tell us more, Josh Auraki from Stardome Observatory joins us now. Josh, are you excited about what's coming up? Kia ora. Um, yeah, I am. I think this is going to be pretty spectacular for us in the Southern Hemisphere, um, you know, to get a meteor shower, but also a planetary alignment. Uh, that's not something that happens very often. And what are we going to see up there, Josh? Yeah, so the, the first major thing is the planetary alignment. So we've already been seeing that for a couple of weeks. Um, so we're getting Mars, Saturn, Venus and Jupiter, which are all kind of forming a line in the morning skies. Um, they're pretty easy to spot. And um, it just happens to be that the meteor shower is actually happening in the same place. Um, so that's when you get uh, shooting stars, is what people commonly call them, um, little small bits of ice and dust um, burning up through the atmosphere, um, streaking across the sky. And that's what we know as a meteor shower. Um, so two of those things are basically going to be happening at the same time. Time, uh, in the morning on Sunday. It sounds pretty spectacular and as I mentioned it's pretty rare isn't it? Yeah I mean meteor showers themselves are not um, particularly rare because they happen annually so every single year about the same time um, but for that for this alignment at the moment of the four planets which in itself is kind of rare um, and that to be with the meteor shower and they happen to be in the same area of the sky um, yeah that's pretty rare doesn't happen very common so you kind of yeah two birds in one stone. Wonderful. And how can we see it, Josh? What's the best time uh, for people to get up and take a look? Yeah, so I mean, the meteor shower kind of starts at about two in the morning, um, but the best time is really going to be between about five and 5.30 in the morning. Um, peaking at about 5.30 is going to be your best bet. Um, so you'd have to get up yeah, pretty early. Uh, best advice I can give, though, is actually to check the forecasts because uh, we do need a clear sky to see the skies. Um, so, yeah, if it looks like it's going to be clear and you do get up, um, the best viewing is going to be looking to the northeast. Um, and also, if you happen to live, uh, if you do live in the city, if you do get out of the city um, to a darkest location, dark sky location, um, you're going to see more meteors. Um, so you could expect to see between uh, 20 to 40 per hour, which would be quite spectacular. So, yeah, quite a few factors, but um, hopefully there's a lot of us are going to get a good view of it. Yeah, absolutely. Will it be visible from everywhere in New Zealand, Josh? Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, again, the only thing you need is clear weather. So yeah, unfortunately, if there's any places that are overcast uh, tomorrow morning, or sorry, Sunday morning, um, yeah, they're not quite going to see it. But yeah, anywhere in the southern hemisphere actually um, is going to get a pretty decent view of it. So yeah, anywhere around Aotearoa. Amazing, Josh. Enjoy. I'm going to set my alarm too. Thank you so much for joining us. No worries.